Okay, guys, listen now. Um, yesterday, um, we did uh, a worksheet I asked you. I don't know how many questions I asked you to look at. But, but what I want to do is I want to kind of go through those. If you had a question, I want you uh, to ask me about it. All right? But most importantly is um, I want to try to get through everything today, including trying to teach you how to use your really nice calculator. All right? And again, it's super powerful, all right? But I need your attention, and you're going to have to listen carefully so I can explain to you what to do, all right? Now, make sure you have your worksheet opened up, all right? And let's take a look at... All right. Okay, now... Um, listen, what I have now up on the board are the solutions. So um, what I want you to do is tell me uh, how you're doing. All right, I'm going to pull these up real quick. So number one was negative three. Number two was one. Number three was negative three-fourths. Number four was seven-thirds. Number five is negative four-thirds. Number six is four-fifths. And number seven is negative seven-elevenths. And number eight is negative one fourth. Now your job is to tell me if you had a question with that. What? What what is the answer? What did you get? Well, so now what I want you to do is please just let me answer him. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at my notes up here. Do you see, I always want you to start with the left point, And then what you had to remember was you're going down. So that delta Y is what? You with me? And that's why I tell kids you always do the rise first. Because that reminds you that the rise is first and then the run is second. When you plot points, it's X, Y. But when you do slope, it's what? Y, X. That's why kids make mistakes. I always said if I was making up the math at the beginning of the whenever they figured this stuff out, I would have just done delta X over delta Y. All right? Because if I plot X, Y, I might as well do slope X over Y. But there's a good reason why they don't do that. All right? Very good reason. All right? So uh, anybody have any equation or any questions now doing the slope stuff? All right. So now let's take a look at... Uh, questions. Did we do 10 together? Yes. yes. What about 11? Okay, here we go. So now, please look. All right. On number 11, if the y intercept is negative 5, and let me just go ahead and uh, I'll just start this over again. If the y intercept is negative 5, that means I cross the y axis at negative 5. So I put a dot, right? Anybody have an issue with that? No. And then go back and it tells me that the slope is what? Um, Negative 4. So that means I go what? Down 4, down four right. to the right 1. I go down 4 to the right 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right 1. Right? And so now I can do what? Make a line. Yep. Hopefully you can make a straight line with notability. All right, there you have it. Anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions with that? All right, very good. Now, we're graphing y equals negative 4x plus 3. Now, in this particular case, I just wanted you to be able to tell me what's the y-intercept? 3. And what's the slope? Negative 4 over 1. Negative 4 over 1. Does anybody have any questions on how to do that? Anybody have any questions? You add three, plot a point, then you go down four to the right one. Everybody good with that? Yes. All right. So um, now, um, what about 12? We did that together, right? Um, 13, did we do that together? No. All right, so let me take a quick look at 13 just to make sure you're in good shape. All right. Now. Using the slope and y-intercept, 
when it says use the slope and y-intercept, that means we're going to put it in the form y equals mx plus b. So in this equation, 2x plus y equals 0, what do I need to do to the 2x? Move it over, and it becomes what? Just y equals negative 2x. So what is the y-intercept now, guys? 0, 0. Everybody happy with that explanation? The y-intercept is 0, 0. Then, what's the slope? What is the slope? Negative 2 over 1. So from there, I go what? Down 2. Down 2 to the right 1, and then you try to draw a line. Anybody have any questions or concerns with that? Feeling pretty good, right? All right. So now let's look at x minus 2y equals 4. So I have to move the x. When I move the x, it becomes what? Uh, negative. So don't forget, negative 2y equals negative x plus 4, right? Mm -hmm. And now what do I need to do? Divide by. Right. Whenever I divide by a negative, what happens to all the signs? They change. they change, right? So I would like everybody to be able to tell me that's obviously just 1 half x minus 2. Do I feel good about that? Now listen, I'm telling you, everybody in here ought to be able to tell me in sync here, how do I graph that? What do I do? First I go, I go down 2 and plot a point. Then from there, once I go down 2, I go what? I go what? Up 1 and to the right 2. Up 1 and to the right 2. Anybody have any issue with that? Yes. Well, I'm glad. What? I looked at the problem up here and it said 1 half. You not know where I got the one half from there? Okay, so there is a negative one here. Do you agree? So if I divide that by two, what do I get? What's one divided by two? One half, right? That's why I want you to think of division as a fraction. All right, it's easy to think of division as a fraction. All right, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. Now, um, here is where I'm going to start uh, giving you some freedom to solve this as quickly as you can. All right, so please pay attention on this one, even though I, I don't care if we do it or not. But um, listen, guys, this part right here, in my opinion, is easier using intercepts. Do I agree with that? Right, in other words, we could just do this, make an X and Y table, right? And this is 0, and this is 0, right? If y is 0, what's x? 2. If x is 0, then y is? Does everybody see how easy that is, right? Because negative 2y equals 14, right? You see that now, right? Okay. So 2, 0, and 0, negative 7, and then you're just graphing it. Is everybody with me on this, right? Now, listen. The next thing I'm going to try to show, demonstrate to you is on this one right here, it's easier to use what? Slope intercept. Oh, yeah. Because it's already in that. Is everybody with me now? So if I'm doing slope intercept, what do I need to do on this? Go what? Uh, six. Up six, plot a point. Then from there I go what? I go up three. and... Right, up three to the right one. And now I'm drawing that line. Can you go up, like, when we're doing it like that, you go up from the previous point? Yes, you do not go from the origin. You always go from the plotted point. You always go from the plotted point. All right, does anybody have any issues? Any issues? All right. So, did we do 15 together? Yeah, we just plug those in. Bless you. All right. Now, um, 16, I said, was the same. 
Now, what number should you plug in for 17? Now, look, I need your eyes up here. I need to hear me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Does everybody understand now I really am never, ever going to use the table anymore? Right? I, I'm not going to use the table. Do you agree? Because that's more time than if you would just plot it using the what? Slope and y-intercept. Does everybody hear me on this? However, you have to know how to do everything. On the test, I'm going to say graph by using the intercepts. Then I'm going to say graph by using a table. Then I'm going to say graph by using the slope intercept. And then I'm going to give you questions where you just have to do it however you want. Does that make sense? Now, I think everybody here knows how to do everything. Right? You just need what? Practice. All right? So I'm telling you now, on this particular problem, instead of using a table, it's easier just to do what? How do I graph this? Go down. go down. You don't have to say go down negative. Remember, you just say go down two. And then from there, you go what? Up one and over what? And then graph the line. Does everybody see how the reason why I like that, correct? Right? I, I, I don't want to graph using a table. All right? It's an extra point plus I don't feel like doing it. All right, it's much easier for me to use the y-intercept and the slope. Yes? Oh, um, I still understand how you got up to the line. Okay, so look, look. Let's make this as simple as possible. So I'm going to come right over here and show you. Very simple. y equals 1 fourth x minus 2. You agree? Do you agree x is negative 4? So y equals 1 fourth times negative 4 minus 2. Oh, okay. What's one fourth of negative four? Negative one, right? Mm -hmm. So y equals negative three. Yeah. Okay. You agree with that? Mm -hmm. Y equals negative three. Bless you. Anybody have any other questions now with that? All right. Bless you. All right, so here we go. Um, I believe everything else is just the same. Do you agree? Yeah. Now look at question number 18. What's the slope on 18? Negative 2. What's the y-intercept? I would prefer to do that using the what? Slope and y-intercept. Now, listen to what I'm saying now. I want to make sure I'm clear. On all of the problems now, you can do it however you want, right? But you have to make sure, to make, hear me, you have to know how to do it using a table. You have to solve it using intercepts. And you have to you know how to do it by solving uh, or graphing by using the slope and y-intercept. Does everybody understand that? Right? But all of these problems now, I just made a bunch of similar problems simply because I wanted kids to have enough practice. Is everybody good? So that's what you're going to do tonight. You're going to finish this up. Does everybody hear me? All right. Now, I'm still not done because I told you I would teach you how to use your calculator today. All right? Which is really, really, really cool. All right? Um, so if you don't have a calculator, you got to kind of sit next to somebody who does have a calculator. All right. And then know every single day, bring your calculator because I may or may not ask you to use it. What? Very good. So you need to go get you one of those. Okay. All right. As quickly as possible. All right. Target. There's a lot. Um, there, there's a lot of places. Now, um, the next thing is guys. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to pause this for a quick second because I'm going to put up, uh, I'm going to try to put the calculator up. Hey, just listen to me. I'm going to pause it so we can, I, I have, I think, one that's on my computer. All right. So now um, for the graphing calculator now, all right, using the graphing calculator is pretty easy. All right. First and foremost, I need everybody to make sure that um, that when they're doing this, that they can hit the y equals. And the y equal is the top left button. So everybody hit that. All right? Now, I want everybody to look up here at the board real quick so I can show you something. And I, like I said, you, I just need your attention. Listen to me. This plot one, plot two, plot three must be unshaded all right now um, I can show you what I mean if I can work this out 
Um, now, if I hit enter, now does everybody see how it's shaded, right? I don't want it shaded or it might create like a syntax error for you. Is everybody with me? So most of you guys shouldn't have it, um, but later this week, I'm going to show you how to use that. All right, so it's again, very nice. All right, but you might have some problem if that is um, shaded. All right, now what I want to do is I want everybody to go down to uh, Y1. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how you can graph. All right, now here is the one of the most important buttons right here. It's the X, T, theta, and N. These are all for your advanced notations. All right, and right now we're using the variable x. When you get to algebra two, they'll teach you about t, they'll teach you about n, and pre-calculus you use t and theta also. All right, but right now all we care about is the variable what? x. All right, so what I want to do is I want everybody to hit the x button. All right, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to graph y equals x. Now, before I want you to graph, sometimes if you've played games or you've done something on your calculator, it messes up the screen. So in order to fix the screen, see where it says zoom? All right, I want everybody to hit the zoom button. And when you go to zoom, I want you to know where standard is. Now, you can hit standard, and what that does, it puts it into a negative 10 by 10 screen. So everybody hit and I like to just hit the number itself, 6. So if I click 6, now watch. All right, isn't that nice? All right. So now that graphs the line y equals x. Is everybody okay with that now? All right. Anybody have any questions? All right. Now what I want to do is I want to go back to y equals. Right. So go back to y equals, click. And then this time, I want you to maybe make it like minus 4. Put in minus 4. And then just practice hit graph. Right? The graph button's at the top right. All right? And so that graphs the line. All right? Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to show you that the y equals when it has y1, y2, y3, y4, it's allowed, you're allowed to graph multiple equations at the same time. Now, the higher you get up in math, the more you'll be comparing different graphs. All right? So now what I want you to do is I want you to go to y equals for me. Go back to y equals. And then click down to y2. All right? And under y2, I want you to hit x. And then I want you to hit the square button. All right. And the square button, x squared, it looks like. So there's y equals x squared. Everybody see that? The square button is right here. All right. Now what I need you to do is I need you to hit graph. All right. And when you graph, we'll be talking about that second semester. This is called a parabola or it's called a quadratic. All right. Now, listen to me, please. This right here and this right here are what we're going to be studying this year. It's called a line and a parabola or a line and a quadratic. Quickly. Um, so when you press zoom, it'll graph, but you can also press the graph. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm going to show you everything I want you to do. I just want you to do it exactly what I'm telling you. Okay. All right. I'll teach you about the zoom. I'll teach you about the format. I'll teach you about everything. Right now... I wanted you to hit zoom standard and that puts it into a 10 by 10 screen. All right. Now what I want to do is let's say I wanted to look what's going on in close. All right. So I'm going to change the window. So I want everybody to hit the window. All right. And the window is top left, right? Everybody see the window? Now, right now, here's what I want to try to explain to you. So eyes up. Right now, my lowest x is what? My highest is what? And I'm counting by? That's what that means. My lowest y. Highest. Counting by? And don't worry about the resolution. All right? Now, 
in this uh, problem right here, I want to make uh, it's smaller. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go X men. I want you to go negative three. And you can just type in negative three. Now, some of you are learning the hard way that negative and minus are not the same. Do you agree? So you have to be careful. It's going to come up syntax there if you're not listening. All right. If you put minus, it'll say syntax there. So you have to find the negative button. And then the X max, I want it to be uh, I want it to be five. All right. X max is just one. We're going right down the list here. Right down the list. And then what I want you to do is I want you to put X scale. Just leave it as one. And so then I'm going to go down to X men. For X men, I'm going to be negative 20 and X and x maximum i want to be uh sorry i want it to be a 30 and i want the scale to be 5 now what does the scale mean oh yeah what they're counting by. yeah it's going to count by 5 so it's going to count 5 up and 1 left and right all right now watch what happens when you hit graph Now it just changed everything. So you have a different perspective. Does everybody see that now? Does everybody see what I'm getting at? Right? You can change the window to whatever you want. You can change the window to whatever you want. Does everybody happy with that explanation? Now, let's say I'm in trouble and I don't know what the window should be. To get yourself out of trouble, you can always zoom what? Standard. And when you zoom standard, it's going to change it back to a what? Negative 10 by 10, negative 10 by 10. So everybody go back to zoom for me. Oh, good. It's back to normal. And then you hit standard. And now it goes back. All right? Yay. Is everybody feeling good about that? Yes. Yeah. All right. We're, that's what we're going to do. What? It clears. All right. Now, here we go. Next thing that's most important for us is we graph by using a table, correct? Mm -hmm. You remember how annoying it was to plug in the numbers? Watch how really cool this is. See, over the graph, there's a what? Table. table. So now what I want you to do is you hit the second button and hit the table. Now watch how cool this is. Hit second, and then you hit table. And now, look up, please. So here's what's going on. I need your attention. Here's what's going on. So the X values were automatically created for you. Look up, look up. If you have a question, just raise your hand. All right? Now, the X values were automatically created here. And then Y1 is when X is 0, it gave you a what? Negative 4. But under Y2, Zero was what? So it's giving you the y coordinates of those values. Does everybody see that? Now, the next thing I want you to do is notice I can scroll up and I can scroll down and it automatically creates the table for me. Does everybody see how nice that is, right? Everybody good? All right. Now, it, 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 you didn't have anything under y equals. You have to have a graph in order for it to work. All right. Now, listen carefully. Normally, the table, um, you can set it to do different things. So see this button right here where it says TBL set? That means table set. So I want you to hit second and go to table set. Hit second, table set. Now, table start. We're going to start right now on mine at what? Negative 7. But let's say I don't like starting at negative 7. Let's say I want to start at negative 10. So I'm going to type in, and you can type in, negative 10. Now, I want delta table. What do you think that delta means? The change, right? So I want to change by 5. 
So I'm going to change it to 5. Now I'm going to go back to second table and somebody tell me what happened. It starts at what? It counts by what? Just what we told it to do. Does everybody see that? All right? Very smart calculator. But it's only as smart as you are. Keep that in mind. All right? So now I'm going to show you one other cool feature that I think is even more important. Right? Right now, these are automatically taking place. Well, sometimes it's not an organized table. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Like sometimes we did 7, 0, negative 7 or something along those lines. Now, here's how I want you to leave it. I want everybody to go to second table set. And then, does everybody see the independent? The independent is the, we already know this, is the X. The dependent is the Y. I want everybody to go down to where it says independent. And I want you to click over to ask. All right. And then press enter. And now go back to your table. Now we have a problem. We have a problem because you just told it, instead of it doing it automatically, you want to enter your own data points. Oh, right? So, so if they the didn't have a pattern, you could just type them in. So for example, if I wanted to type in negative 8, if that was the first number that I needed, I would type in negative 8. Oh, okay. Right? And then let's say my second number was 3. So then I could type in what? 3. And then what if the next number was 78? Then you just hit 78, and it tells you those answers. Is everybody with me on that? Bless you. Yes, sir. Quickly. What's the white table? Okay, so somebody's asking me a question now about y1 and y2. y1 is the first graph. y2 is the second graph. Now, go back to y equals so I can show you something again. So if I go to y equals and I go down to y3, oh, if I go down to y3 and let's just say I do something a little wild and crazy, like let's do uh, x uh, cubed. So I go x caret 3, right? And now I go to second table. Uh-oh, it's not there. Well, it is there, actually. I just have to go, I have to scroll over. Now you see y3. Right? So you can do as many graphs as you want. It just doesn't have the ability to keep it on one window. Right? You just have to scroll over. All right? You just have to scroll over. Now, um, let me say something again, which I think someone said pretty nicely. You can check all of your answers. Yes, that's what you're supposed to do. That's why I'm letting you use a calculator. I want everybody to make hundreds. All right, you have to be able to use the calculator though. It's not an easy thing. I make it look easy, but then all of a sudden you've got to do things on your own, it gets a little bit harder. All right, so it's important to do what practice. All right, now listen if something says syntax error, that means you told it to do something it doesn't understand what to do, and most of the time that's a negative and a minus. All right, if you accidentally type in negative 3, or if you type in minus 3 and you meant what? Negative 3, it's going to say, I don't understand what you mean. It's trying to subtract 3 from something that you haven't told it to subtract 3 from. Is everybody with me on that? All right, so now here's what I want you to do. Tomorrow is going to be a really good day because the last four or five problems, I'm going to teach you how to make your calculator draw a line of best fit. All right, that's really cool also. All right, and it's good for science also because you guys will be making lines of best fit and it's the calculator will do all the work for you and it will actually calculate the absolute mathematical very best line of fit. All right, but I've got to show you that tomorrow. Now, we're almost out of time, so what I want you to do is your homework tonight is make sure you know how to use a calculator, get a calculator, some of you, and then I want you to finish the, everything except the last four or five questions. Is everybody with me? But the difference is you can graph however you want. Whatever's the quickest way. That's what I want you to do. Is everybody with me on that? All right, I want the whole worksheet done. You need practice. All right, that's what your job is tonight. Make sure you do a good job on that. Do we have to still use, like, tables? Um, no. I